<sighs> Howdy folks, we're going outside today. <laughs> I've got this ladder in here. This sucker will telescope up to 18 feet and it's from our friends at Vivor. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go outside and see what we can do with this thing. Wow, it's heavy. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll start here and uh, we'll take a look at the project here. First thing I want to do is be able to get up to the top of this chimney because it's one of those maintenance things that you should be able to reach the top and I don't have a ladder that will even get me anywhere near that so today I guess we're going to check this ladder up just see if it'll uh, do the trick. Yeah so right before we go outside and try to get up that chimney I'm going to raise this up. There are switches on each side that will release and lock each section as you telescope up into the top of the chimney or wherever you're going. There's also a couple of hooks that you can put on the top ladder to hook into something if, uh, if you need it, in which case it's a good safe idea if you can do it. The other thing is the, the feet on this are curved and have an aggressive you know, rubber pattern on the bottom which will grip you know, on angles and stuff, so that's a good thing too. The only problem I got with the whole thing is, is she's just she's pretty heavy and there's a hand piece right here so that when you carry it, you're going to carry it like that under your arm so you can walk with the ladder to the, you know, to the job site. Now, if you're short, boy, that's pretty close for me. I'm a foot off the ground with the ladder right now. But if you're shorter than myself, you're going to have a little bit of a problem. So, yeah, if you're less than five feet tall, you might not want this ladder, okay? <laughs> yeah. The uh, strap is just a Velcro strap, which of course helps to hold everything together so that nothing happens while you're uh, moving it. But we're going to take it up to the chimney and we're going to telescope it up and see how that works. Wow. Yeah, we used uh, every inch of that ladder, but let's take a look at the top situation and see where we're at. Yeah, we're right at the top of the chimney, and that's about all. That's all the ladder, 18 feet. <laughs> I actually thought the ladder might be too tall. No. <laughs> Neat. I've got another rung up here yet. I didn't get all of it. Go figure. But uh, yeah, that's 18 feet ladder, and I feel like I got. Yep, I'm high enough. I don't want to be any higher. But a lot of times I trim the trees around the chimney just a little bit. This very top one, I didn't actually uh, get it open and locked. But if you need a an 18 foot portable tall ladder, this is uh, this is the one. <laughs> I'm coming down now. How hard is it to put this thing back up? So I guess we'll hit these switches and unlock them and just see how it works. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like magic. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. But you do have to keep your hands uh, Way as this thing comes down, yeah, just, just do what we're not supposed to do. We'll see how that works. Yeah, there we go. Wow, this uh, top one here was the only one I didn't actually open up <laughs> just by mistake. But, uh, yep, 
Then we put our strap back on, nice and tight, and we can pick our ladder up and just haul it off. Okay, we're back in the shop now, and this is uh, 420 pound capacity. Uh, you know, that's always uh, worth thinking about. It felt a little woo woo this way, but at the same time, an aluminum ladder does that in naturally anyways to me, so this was really not that much different. Really bizarre feel to it. Uh, now the steps have a little overhang back here, so there's lots of area for your foot to, you know, get on top of each uh, rung. Besides the carrying handle, at the top there's a protective kind of uh, almost rubbery uh, like uh, piece at the top here where it leans against something. So theoretically it shouldn't scratch or mark up anything that you put the ladder up against. Uh, let's see, other features? Well, it says in the instructions, really, well, like I showed you when you was collapsing it, to keep your hands away from everything, just hit the switches and you know let her drop in kind of thing. What an interesting ladder. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you was the space between the rungs because it's uh, it seems a bit steep or more than most typical ladders and so best way to do that is measure it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 16 inches but I'm gonna check. Uh, actually let's put this one up too. Yeah, there we go. And yeah okay step to step is about 15 and a half inches yeah, so when you're going up, it's, it's, each rung is, is quite a good step, it's, but uh, it's pretty cool. Now, you have to watch your fingers, though, when you're pushing it down, because obviously, yeah, you know, <laughs> you don't want your hands in there. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at was uh, the hook. Oops, I just did it wrong again. Okay. Let's see, the other thing I wanted to look at was these, uh, these hooks. So these caps pop off at the top. And this is where you'll put your hooks. They actually go in here and actually lock in. There's actually a little uh, catch here that will lock the hooks in so that you can uh, keep the hooks with the ladder. So there's a lot of uh, kind of, you know, it's just a basic ladder, but a lot of features and uh, boy, she's heavy. <laughs> so it's uh, at 18 feet around here. Oh, this is the only ladder I have right now that will reach a lot of the places on the house that I can't normally get to because I just don't have a tall enough ladder so I've always had to call around and try to borrow a ladder somewhere. Well I gotta thank the gang over at Beaver for sending this over to us to check out and review. Uh, we will, Beaver will supply us a link in the description below where you can uh, check this turkey out. Uh, also check back because sometimes a few days later or something uh, a lot of times Beaver will send over a coupon code or something later on to get a discount in, in case you're interested in buying something like this and having a 18-foot uh, telescoping ladder around the old property. I know around this house, uh, this is a handy item. It's, you know, it's compact so it'll store really easily and at the same time, you know, if I need to get up and clean that chimney area out from tree leaves, uh, branches and stuff, I can do it. Uh, the roof there is too steep to even walk on, yeah. so. Uh, I have crawled out, but you have to stay right in the center of the peak of the roof in order to keep your balance and stay up there long enough. It's kind of a dangerous spot, so the ladder actually kind of takes that, you know, eliminates that, uh, uh, stops me from falling off the roof. Last time I saw that, uh, it was a Santa Claus, and I think Tim Allen put the suit on, and he ended up at the North Pole, so, yeah, I just don't want to do all that. <sighs> Yeah, speaking of Tim Allen and the Santa Claus, uh, building the biggest Christmas display ever. We started this month actually because it's got there's a lot of work involved. In the meantime, uh, Beaver has been sending over some other tools too, so we'll be getting into some socket sets and some other really cool stuff. You know, tough tools for half the price. I love that. Uh, you know, I have a lot of Beaver stuff here that I'm pretty happy with because you know I don't need the very best top brand name thing out there that costs a fortune but I like the stuff that will perform and do what I need to do and get me through my day kind of thing and that's like low investment good enough for me gotta thank Beaver for sending that ladder over to me again uh, Melody sent that over and I have to say it was uh, it's, a, it's a strange item but you know what it, it's it's handy you know it's just one of those gotta have it if you have a house you know kind of thing I think it's time to do a draw. Yeah, okay, we're gonna give these away from Tesma. These are voltage detectors. They're really cool. They're really small, very compact with information. 
They're just an AC type detector, uh, but they run, you know, from 12 to 1,000 volts, and they're really also a flashlight, so they're pretty cool all the way around. We did a show about these the other week, and I guess it's time to give, we're going to give them both away to viewers. So let's get some tickets, and let's see who's got these. Okay, so here we go. We got two, we're going to get two, two customers. Uh, we're going to mix the tickets up. Uh, wasn't a lot of tickets this, uh, this week, so... A lot of people didn't want a voltage detector. So we got a few. So let's see if we can't find some wieners. We need we need two tickets. So I'm gonna go two. There's one and there's another one there. Okay. Huh, this one's gonna be interesting. <laughs> we'll go with the first one. Wow. This is this is gonna be pretty cool. This is Dawn up in Milton, New Hampshire. Congratulations, Don, you got a detector. Uh, by the way, a guy named Keith called and said he wanted to borrow it off you. No, I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> and this one's gonna be a strange one because it's just a single word. Uh, we will check the address or something here to make it because I don't have a name. Per well, I do, but it's Ragnar in Hobbs, New Mexico. Cool, all right, congratulations, you two characters. We're, we're done with that. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. Got a big grand prize coming up for the end of this year, I guess, too. It'd be like a Christmas gift for somebody. Uh, meantime, I gotta get out of here, so uh, we'll just uh, cut right here and say over and out. <laughs>